And away we go. Get it? Well, we go. Good morning, everybody. It's Love Corner Journey to Story of the Glen. My name is Kendall. I'm your captain and storyteller aboard Daisy. Boy, here, Daisy, please stay seated, keeping those hands, arms, fingers, feet, and legs, toes, heads, arms, shoulders, knees, and toes, inside the boat at all times. And parents, please watch those little one story stories to take any unexpected turns. And for the sake of yourself and the others around you, please refrain from sticking any of those hands or fingers inside the water. If you haven't noticed, it is green. Now, some people travel to a chest and whirl through the pages of a book, but when a person, whether it be through a rabbit hole or the sprinkling of some pixie dust, you may find it quite magical, but also quite menacing. Though it seems like we're traveling through Jaws of Watch Show, the whale! Ah! Okay. <laughs> The very same world that swallowed Pinocchio. But do not worry, folks, where we're actually being transported into a magical place called Storybook Land. If you thought Monstro was scary, our story begins with Once Upon a Time that starts off to our left, which is the cave and the home of the Big Bad Wolf. Who is always after the three little pigs who live just across the way in those three houses. One made of strong, one made of sticks, and the other made of guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Our story takes a strange turn for just around the river bend. And off to our left is the quaint English village home to Alice, where one golden afternoon she chased the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, down, down on into Wonderland, where things only became curiouser and curiouser from there on. There are many fantastic places here in Serbic Land that inspire storytellers, like that of London Park off to our right where Peter Pan, John, Wendy, and Michael Darling first flew with the help of Tinkerbell's Pixie Dust on their way to Neverland where they would never ever have to grow up. Or a place like Agrabah, a city of mystery and enchantment where a street rat named the last first bumped into Princess Jasmine down in the marketplace and stole her heart. Although they are both from two different worlds with the power of love and the help of Genie, they are now married and still to stay live in the Sultan Tower. There's lots of magic in Storybook Land where love shines, like the twinkling lights on the archways above us. The same ones that Aladdin and Jasmine soaring over cybers and under on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Not all good stories are filled with love and light, however they have their dark places as well, places of mist. Like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Its treasure bears the curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Legend has it, whoever frees the genie will be granted three wishes. Let's make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White wished for a safe place when she fled from the evil queen. Then she stumbled upon the cozy forest cottage off to our right, home to the seven dwarfs who offered her shelter in return for her kindness. If you're lucky, you may even see their mind and hear them whistle while they work. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but when her wicked stepmother forbade it and left her behind in the blue room chateau off to our left. But with the help of her fairy godmother, she was able to go to the ball. But when she did not return home by midnight, her carriage turned back into a pumpkin, which is still up there on that bridge today. Way up there on that bridge. Uh, Wishes are a powerful part of storybooks, however magic does have its limits, thankfully love does not. Cinderella now lives in her prince charming in his castle just on top of the hill. I'm going to introduce you guys to the ninth wonder of the world, the backside of Agrabah. Yay! If you guys have been on the other rides here today, if you guys noticed, they call Dumbo the 8th one of the world, the very first ever flying elephant. Or if you go on Jungle Cruise, you see the backside of water, which is also the 8th one of the world. Therefore, making the backside of Agrabah the ninth one of the world. <laughs> dreams can come true like wishes. Some dream of a happy ever after, while others dream of drifting off to sleep. On a hill close to the flowers like the ones to our left, 
and inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, A Lullaby Land. There's magic everywhere here in Serbicland, even down to those miniature plants that are 100% real. That will never grow up, thanks to the enchantment of Tinkerbell. That's what makes this place so magical and was a favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney that continues to inspire new stories till this day. It inspires stories like that of the Wind in the Willows, where Mole Rat and Mr. Toad and his stately manor off to our left. But sorry folks, for James Thaddeus Toad is not home at the moment, for he's off in his motor car in Fantasyland on a jolly ride to nowhere in particular. Or it inspires stories of magic like that of Arendelle just ahead below those frozen mountains. Though Elsa fled to her icy palace above the fjord, and her sister Anna refused to let it go. An act of true love showed that both that family can conquer even the harshest of snowstorms. Um, Letting Anna once again ask, Do you want to go to snowman? <laughs> right on the Alpine village just ahead, home to wood carbon Geppetto, where he wished upon a star for his little pup and become a real boy. When Pinocchio freed him from the belly of Marshall the Whale, the blue fray down him just that wish. Maybe you guys want to know Disney history and the fun tidbit? You guys see this huge gigantic tree right here? It was planted by Walt Disney himself 63 years ago, and it's approximately 165 years old. Geppetto's wish like that made many fairy tales, which leads us to a little mermaid named Ariel, who followed Prince Eric to his castle on our right, inspiring her to give up her life under the sea and take her first steps on her unsteady human legs to fulfill her dream of becoming part of our world. Her story begins in the shadow of her father, King Triton, who lives in an underwater state of Lanza, off to our left behind that waterfall. That fell out to adventure that ultimately ends with the happily ever after. As we close the story on our book and a first stop, please stay seated, keeping those hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat. Bring those fingers inside the boat, guys. Off that black for me, please. Perfect.